Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use a template with an Excel report inside of Creatio. So first of all, in order to do any of this, you need to install the Marketplace add-on for Creatio called Excel Reports Builder for Creatio. This is what gives you the ability to create printables in Excel inside of Creatio. Once you install that, sometimes it's a little difficult to know where to go to to use it. Uh, it doesn't add anything anywhere. You need to add that section to one of your workspaces. To do that, you just click the gear, go to the workplace setup, select one of the workplaces, and then you'll just click the plus, find Excel reports, and select it. And then you can close it. Once you log out, log back in, you'll see that Excel reports listed there. I've already added that here to my studio workspace. Um, and additionally, in order to use templates, there is a issue in current versions of Creatio where you'll, you won't be able to upload your template. I have an article I've written on customereffects.com called Failure to Upload Template for Excel Report. And it outlines in there basically the fix is there is a system setting called File Extensions Deny List. And all you have to do is remove APK and JAR from that list in order to be able to upload templates. Otherwise, that will fail and it won't actually upload those templates. So first of all, let's go create an Excel report. So I'm going to click New Report. I'm going to call this just Opportunity List. There's a couple of different report types. First of all, edit page report means you're looking at a record. If this were an opportunity report, I would be looking at an opportunity and the data available in that report is going to be from that single opportunity. Section report is it's going to appear in a section and it will use the data appearing in that section as the data for the report. That's what we're going to do. A custom report is it's not going to show anywhere. You come back to the Excel reports section in order to run the report and you just come back here and click the button to do it on demand when needed. So we're going to do a section report. We're going to have it appear in the opportunity section and I'll call the sheet name, which will be the little tab in the Excel file, call it opportunity list. Okay, so now I can come in and edit that. I'm going to uh, add just a few columns to the layout. It already has the opportunity name. I'm going to add the owner and the opportunity amount and then I'll also add the uh, date that it was created on. So now with those columns added I'm just going to save it and then uh, if I refresh the opportunity section I'll get a new area where printables show calling, called Excel reports, and that's where we'll see that. If I were to run this, it's going to run it based on whatever data is currently showing in this section. Right now I have this filter where I'm the owner, so I'm only going to get the opportunities where I'm the owner if I run that. If I change the filter and add some other conditions, yeah, I'll only get those. If I use a, a filter or a folder, whatever opportunities show in that folder is what's going to show on the report. So uh, the one thing it does not do is I can't control click and select some and it won't show just those. It will still show whatever the visible uh, opportunities in this section are. Okay, so if I were to run this, let's go ahead and do that and then I'll open it up. Let's get it over here into view. Okay, you can see already uh, it doesn't look pretty and it's not very usable. All the columns are squished together. The created on values don't even look like dates. Um, nothing's formatted as currency or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a starting point for our template. So what I'm going to do is first of all I want to create take these created on values and format them as dates. So I'll click the column header and then I'll control click if you're on Windows or command click if you're on a Mac uh, to deselect the label. So now with everything else in that entire column selected, I'm going to right click and format cells, change this to a date formatted 
cell, and now we see the dates there. I'll do the same to the currency. And make those currency values. And now it's starting to look a little bit more usable. So let's add some other formatting here. We'll bold that uh, the header row, uh, maybe increase the size a little bit. Uh, let's also maybe add some uh, background color to that as well. Just so that we can see that there are some changes made. So we can do a lot of other things with this file here. For example, if we wanted to put over here uh, something that gave us the grand total, adding, summing up all of the opportunities that are in here, I can add a formula just normally. Let's do an auto sum. I'll just take everything from that column. Let's do the same format that as a currency. And let's bold it also. So that will give us the grand total of everything in here. I, I can do all kinds of things with this data. If I wanted to add additional columns that were completely a, a formula, like say for example, let's, let's add a, another column here that is, um, we'll just call it col column, column 1, just so that it has something here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a formula that is the um, we'll say that it is the value from this column and we'll times 0.06 to it to give us the result I you know whatever that is you know it could be that it's tax or something like that and now we'll just drag that formula down as far as we can just to account for whatever changes might be in the data. We never know how many rows are going to appear in here. We'll just take it down that far. So now we have that. Uh, this is strictly uh, a formula based on other data here. We can add other things in here as well like charts, graphs, all kinds of things uh, based on this data. However, whenever we're done, we'll just take it and we're going to save it as a template. So now that I've saved this as my template, oh, one last thing that's important is we have to delete the data that's currently in here now. So if we don't do that, um, what will happen is, like say next time we run it, if we only get five rows of data, then we'll still have all this old data showing up here that will not have getting, gotten overwritten. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll delete our columns here. And then now I'll save the uh, template. So let's go back to our report. I'm going to click the Upload Template button. And there's my template. I'll upload it. Once we do that, the Download Template button appears, and also the template uploaded is checked. If you don't see that happen, the template did not get uploaded, and you need to go revisit this article here to make the changes to that system setting, because that's what's preventing it from uploading that template. So now, if I were to... I'm going to refresh this and let's change the filter. Let's remove me as the owner here. So now if I were to run this and open it up, now you can see our grand total is different. All the data in here, we still have all the formatting that we built into that um, for the date columns, the currency columns and things like that. So the, all the things we defined in our template now will get used every time we run this report. All the formulas that we put into place, they're all still working based on the new data that now is populated in this report. So one other thing that you can do is if, uh, if you want some charts and things like that inside of your report, and let's say you don't necessarily want the data, you can add additional sheets in here, put your charts here that are based on the data from the first sheet, and you can even hide this first sheet so that you only see this one with the charts on it. You can do that, save that as a template, upload it, and now it'll populate the first sheet with the data. The second sheet will have the charts that are based on the data from the first sheet. So that's all things that you can do to uh, 
enhance what you're getting in the report, making it more report-like and less uh, like a list of data in an Excel file. So I hope that gets you started with creating templates for Excel reports inside of Creatio.